exchange rate management. RBI has been in the forefront of bond market and currency market volatility. The central bank has used various tools and instruments under its control to bring down INR volatility. On the interest rate front, RBI has used repo, MSF, OMO, CMB, HTM, while on the currency front, it has used USD sales, moral situation, forward re regulations, and capital controls. RBI by using its tools has created more volatility in markets. The rupee touched all-time lows while bond deals rose to five-year highs in August 2013. At this point of time, reactions of the markets may have been adverse to RBI policies, but at other points of time, there have been favorable reactions. One factor to note here is that RBI's actions can only affect markets in the short term. In the longer term, structural fundamentals of the economy will prevail. Japan is a big case in point where despite years of monetary easing, economy is still in a rut. RBI tools for interest rate management. RBI monetary policy tools for interest rate management are repo, repurchase agreement, CRR, cash reserve ratio, SLR, statutory liquidity ratio, OMO, open market operations, and MSS, market stabilization scheme. The repo or repurchase agreement. RP, repo or repurchase agreement is the rate at which RBI lends funds to the banks. RBI conducts a daily auction known as the liquidity adjustment facility auction where banks and primary dealers bid for funds under repo or reverse repo. The LAF is a collateral, collateralized lending and borrowing facility where banks provide securities as collateral. RBI has the flexibility to accept the bids or not accept the bids placed in the LAF auction. Market bidding for funds at the repo rate indicate that liquidity conditions are tight in the system and overnight money market rates such as call money, market repo, and CBLO, which is collateralized borrowing and lending rate. RBI, when it signals tight policy environment, would like to keep the system in deficit of money so that the repo rate becomes an effective signaling tool. The current repo rate is 7.25%. Repo rate has fallen by 125 basis points since April 2012, indicating that RBI has been easing policy to spur economic growth. RBI had raised repo rates by 150 basis points from levels of 7% to 8.5% prior to April 2012 over a one and a half year period, signaling tight policy to combat inflation. Repo rate is a signal on where RBI believes interest rates should be headed. The reverse repo rate is the rate at which RBI takes money from the banks and primary dealers. The reverse repo rate is currently fixed at 100 basis points below repo rate. Bits for repo in the LAF indicate that the system is in surplus of funds. RBI would be fine with banks bidding for reverse repo if it wants to ease monetary policy. The MSF or marginal standing facility is fixed at 100 basis points above repo rate and banks can borrow under this facility by going below the SLR by 1% of NDTL. SLR is statutory liquidity ratio. MSF, MSF is more like emergency funding. In July 2013, RBI raised MSF rate by 300 basis points over repo and restricted bank borrowing under repo to 0.5% of NDTL as it warranted the MSF to become as it wanted the MSF to become the functional rate for lending to the system. RBI wanted to raise overnight money market rates but did not want to signal a shift in policy stance and it used the MSF for this purpose. RBI wanted to make funds costly in the system to prevent speculation in the Indian rupee that was trending at record lows to the US dollar. Bank rate is also pegged at MSF rate at 100 basis points over repo which was increased to 300 basis points after MSF rate was hiked to 300 basis points over repo. Bank rate is largely used as a benchmark for penalties levied on banks flouting regulatory norms. The CRR or cash reserve ratio. CRR is the cash that banks require to park with the RBI as part of the reserve requirement. Banks have to keep 4% of their net demand and time liabilities 
NDTL, SCRR, and every fortnight, banks have to report their positions to the RBI. On a daily basis, banks are given leeway to be below CRR, but in August, RBI made August 2013, RBI made banks to park 99% of their CRR funds with the RBI every day to tighten liquidity conditions. The higher the CRR rate, the tighter RBI wants liquidity conditions and vice versa. Banks do not earn any interest on CRR balances and hence do not like this tool. SLR or statutory liquidity ratio. Banks have to hold central and state government securities as part of the reserve requirements. The SLR rate is 23% of NDTL as of August 2013, down from earlier levels of 25% of NDTL. SLR holdings required to be reported on a fortnightly basis. Lowering SLR suggests that RBI wants to give banks more flexibility on liquidity as less funds need to be used as reserves. SLR holdings of banks are placed under a portfolio called the HDM or Held to Maturity Portfolio. Banks do not require to do not require to mark to market the securities under SLR. HTM rate is at 24.5% at present and is likely to be brought down to SLR rate of 23% going forward. OMO or Open Market Operations OMOs are liquidity sucking or liquidity infusing tools. RBI can bonds buy, buy bonds from the market and it does through OMO auctions. Similarly, RBI can sell bonds that it holds to the market through OMO auctions. RBI can also buy and sell bonds directly in the secondary market, but OMOs send out signals to the market on RBI's intentions. OMO purchase auction infuses liquidity into the system, while OMO sales auction takes out liquidity from the system. RBI buying bonds through OMOs is is, is a form of quantitative easing as primary liquidity is created as money is printed to pay for bonds. MSS or Market Stabilization Scheme MSS bonds are issued when the RBI wants to take out liquidity from the system. MSS bonds are use, usually issued when RBI has been buying foreign exchange in the market, thereby infusing liquidity into the system. MSS is basically issued to sterilize liquidity created by foreign exchange intervention. The government issues the MSS bonds and pays interest on it. However, MSS funds are not used by the government and is sequestered in a separate account. When RBI sells MSS bonds, it sells the sequestered bonds and this is called desequestering. Now coming to RBI tools on currency management. The fall in the Indian rupee to record lows of over 65 to the USD in August 2013 has seen RBI use all its tools to maintain stability in markets. On the interest rate front, the RBI tightened liquidity conditions to raise short-term rates. On the exchange rate front, RBI intervened directly in markets, introduced capital controls and used regulations to stem INR fall. Direct Intervention RBI can buy and sell USD INR or any other currency pair directly in the market. RBI sells USD INR when it wants to strengthen the INR and buys USD INR when it wants to strengthen the US dollar. RBI selling USD INR takes out liquidity from the system while RBI buying USD INR infuses liquidity into the system. RBI also uses the forward market to, by buying and selling for forward settlement. RBI selling USD INR reduces the foreign exchange reserves as the central bank has to dip into the reserves of the country to sell. RBI buying USD INR adds to foreign exchange reserves of the country. RBI sometimes opens a window to meet specific currency requirement for an entity. For example, oil companies requiring USD to import oil can approach RBI directly when USD supply is less in the system. Capital Controls Capital controls are regulations on foreign on foreign currency investments of resident entities and regulations on local currency investments by foreign entities. RBI in August 2013 restricted resident Indians on their investments in foreign currencies. RBI restrictions, restrictions on flow of foreign currency through the capital accounts such as investments and equity 
bonds, deposits, property, etc. is capital controls on foreign investments and INR assets. RBI can also ease capital controls by removing restrictions. At times of currency stability and good foreign exchange reserves, RBI eases restrictions on resident investments in foreign currency, but RBI may impose controls on foreign investments in local currency if it believes that there is excess speculative flows. On the other hand, RBI will ease capital controls on foreign investments in local currency when currency is, is unstable and foreign exchange reserves are depleting. Capital controls can send very strong signals to investors and markets can turn hugely volatile. For example, restricting foreigners to take out money from the country could turn sentiments hugely negative on the currency. Regulations RBI can make importers hedge the foreign exchange requirements or can make exporters repatriate their earnings depending on market conditions. When currency markets are unstable, RBI will ask importers to hedge and exporter to re exporters to repatriate earnings. RBI will also place limits on hedging by FIS or will not allow rebooking of cancelled forward contracts to reduce speculation. RBI can make sure that FIS, importers and exporters hedge positions hedged for the positions are based on underlying flows and not on anticipated flows. RBI will make banks lower exposure to speculative currency trades in the spot, futures and forward markets. Thank you.